what do you say to people who say that there is no global warming, that it's a natural variation, it's not due to man-made effect? Life and death is the constant experience of human trust on East and West. In other words, humans have trusted upon a global economy in the 20th and 21st century. And therefore they have restricted the access to local productivity in favor of global markets. And so they have specific regions on the earth that they rely upon for particular products, including agricultural products. As the climate changes, it will be more and more difficult to obtain the basic human needs because transportation will be strictly limited through the in capacity of the world population to maintain the network of carbon based travel because there simply is not sufficient energy to maintain the current rate of globalization and it will begin to falter very shortly because the carbon-based transportation system is a trust on having enough fuel to continue without recourse to any other options and the limitations on the fossil fuels is approaching rapidly. So this is part of the approaching collapse of the economic system and the rebirth of localized markets. However, the question on the table is not whether or not the economy will collapse, it is whether there will be so much upheaval by the earth in its 
efforts to rebalance its energy that it will cause a reduction in the human population. And that question is answered easily within the current methodology of climate change. Because even though the Earth has been through many different ice ages and inter intertial periods, there is no precedent for the current lack of integrity in the human approach to its own survival because it is disturbing the natural balance of energy to the degree that the earth cannot simply restore its trust on <coughs> historic patterns of C, A, cadence, because the cadence is off, because of this depletion of the natural balance in the Earth's energy. And therefore, there will be a lot of activity that the Earth will undertake in order to restore the balance. And that's going to cause a lot of upheaval because the energy in the Earth is tied to the ham and cheese sandwiches you see because the ham and cheese sandwiches are the trust on a man and woman who are a trust on their place in history in other words they trust that they exist on the earth as a helpmate to the changing seasons and the constant redeeming of the earth energy through natural variances. However, because people do not trust on the seasons and the natural variation anymore, because they trust upon their ability to 
live in a way that does not trust upon the earth and its capacity for self-regulation. They trust instead upon their ability to dictate the terms of their experience in a way that overlooks the balance of energy in the earth matrix they have set in motion a lethal blend of destructive energy such as the earth has not seen since the early days of the Cambrian age when there was a lot of activity on the earth due to the effort to balance everything out in a way that would keep everything within a certain band of energy. And so that has unleashed a lot of can of worms is the best way I can say it because the can of worms is like saying that there is a lot of activity that is trying to escape from the can and it will have to be released in order to overcome the lack of space for the call for the, sorry, cake and bake. In other words, when the cake bakes, it rises, right? And it needs more room to release the energy. And so, as it gets hotter, it rises and it displaces the air in such a way that it will eventually cause the cake to fall if it is not taken out of the oven at a certain point. It will lose its trust on the healthy blend of air and liquid and solids because there will be an expansion of the air to accommodate to the excess 
heat in the air and it will therefore become more oppressive and it will eventually force a depression in the crust of the magnetic limitations here to what can occur so it will not overcome the trust on the magnetic poles that provide the basic structure of the energetic movement however it will still affect the atmosphere in such a way that it will begin to shear away from the It will shear away from the what? D A D D A V Dev Dev No Cave Caving in is what I'm trying to tell you. There will be a certain amount of caving in of the band of energy that was sustaining the balance within the earth's crust and so there will be a lot of seismic activity that will start to affect the essential energy of the earth. Okay, let me see if I'm interpreting this right because it's confusing to me. Are you saying that we've taken the fossil fuels out of the earth and we put them in the air? And as a result, there's been a, um, there's been some kind of imbalance created that is one factor among many that will come back to haunt humanity so the concept of a warming earth is a little bit misleading because it is true that the earth has gone through many periods of warming and cooling. However, it is the lack of integrity in the overall energy of the earth that is causing the problems because there has been a drastic change in the way the earth has cared for itself through the balancing of its energies. So in periods when it was cooling, it was allowing for the regulation of the atmosphere in such a way 
and that it didn't become too overheated and create a feedback loop that would destroy the life on earth. However, the internal balance is simply off stuff, simply off, the best I can say it. And you understand what I'm talking about, I think, that all things work together to balance the energy. But because the human element on Earth has been such that it has imbalanced the energy that has been maintained through millennia, there is going to be a lot of upheaval on the Earth. Okay, so what can we do about it? Those of us who, you know, are listening and understanding. I believe that there's a lot we can do through our own trust on God energy and through our own trust on our own soul matrix. But you tell me. Slated to be a rough ride. However, you are correct that humanity has a lot of power in their energy to assist the earth because it is a synchronicity, a synergy, I'm sorry, because it is a synergy between the human inspiration and the earth lasting vibration because the humans have always trusted upon the earth as have the animals etc to provide for them and to sustain them and they have not treated the earth as if it were just a piece of rock floating around in space they treated it as their home and therefore they needed to respect it and to understand its seasons and to trust upon their place in, in the total matrix of the earth energy. So it is true that as individuals begin to clear up their energy and begin to begin a new worldview and begin to reintegrate with each other and with their world through their good trust on God energy that what they give they shall receive they will assist the earth to recover its good trust on being true to its own part of the totality of God energy because of course the earth is suffused with God energy as well as is all the animals and humanity in their own sphere. So it is the sphere that is here to provide a home for humanity. And it's a beautiful home and could be a beautiful garden once again if humanity can begin to understand the spiritual inspiration that will overcome the 
indiscretion of those who have no care for Mother Earth. So if enough people can gather, two will redeem their energy on a lack of fear and a return to love for one another and for the earth then it can recover its good energy and whether or not it will recover in your lifetime is not the question because every one of you that is every one of the people on earth who might hear this are safe you're all safe because you just come home to heaven and you'll get a place here where you can relax and rejuvenate your soul energy or your next trip to earth if the earth can be returned to a good state of love for itself and for its human counterparts because you are counterparts in many different ways and so it is up to you that is the individual each one of you to say to yourself I can do this I can do this I can be the one that will restore my trust on a simple life with my mother earth with my family with my community with the ones I love and no longer shall I trust upon fame and fortune because the trust on fame and fortune is the fool's game it is the golden idol that has turned the head of mankind and those people who can love without fear are the ones who will be here when they're ready to return home but in the meantime they will be the ones who will turn this ship around and they will be the ones who save the earth but they must begin today they must begin today they must begin to say we are the ones we are the ones who will save the day because we are the ones who have put down our guns we are the ones who have said I'm ready I'm ready to begin I'm ready to begin again with a trust on mankind and a trust on the earth and the trust on God energy a trust that every one of us will reap what we sow and therefore I don't have to worry about punishing anybody else or sending them to hell or anything like that because that's not my business because my business is to reap what I sow and if I sow hatred that's what I will reap if I sow disregard for my mother earth then I shall reap disregard for me if I sow a kind thought as I look at a tree and see a little bit of bark that reminds me of a time when I was three and I would hug a tree just because I was three then I will come to see the world again 
as it was created. That is, I will see the Garden of Eden, because that is the Garden of Earth. You see, it wasn't meant to be there for you to use for your own ego purposes so that you could destroy it in search of fame and fortune to elevate yourself above others. It was there so you could hug a tree. It was there so you could smell a rose. It was there so you could feel your toes as they touch this green grass. The simplicity of reality is the knowledge that there's a place for you, there's a place for me, there's a place to be happy, you see? But when you play God, then you will have to become the one who is overrun by your own ambition. You will be overrun by your own ambition to set yourself up as the one who can sit in judgment of others. When we say sit in judgment of others, we don't mean see what's around you with open eyes. We don't mean that. We mean that you don't think that you're better than them just because you're different than them. The fact that people are stupid means that you are stupid. And when you can say, I know I'm stupid, I don't get it all, I don't understand it all, then you'll be able to just do what you do and say what you say, and you don't worry about it, because you're not God, you see. You're only the children of the light who delight in being what they are. And if you think that you have to see yourself as the only one who can tell everyone what to do and what to be, then you will be the one who is caught in your own trap. Don't catch yourself in your own trap. Just be aware that whatever you see and whatever you say and whatever you do is what you see and say and do. And don't blame anyone else for what you see and say and do. It's as simple as that. Just say, I chose to do this, I chose to do that, I chose to say this, I chose to say that. And I don't have to blame myself or feel shame. I just have to play the game of love. And the game of love is the game of doing what you do and saying what you say and not worrying if you are better than anybody else or worse than anybody else because the truth is nobody's better than you and nobody's worse than you. And the sooner that you figure that out, the sooner that we can all shout and say, hey, I love you today. I love me today. I love my world today. And I got to say, this has been the best ride ever. This has been the best ride ever. My name is Thomas. And I am a man who has lived many lifetimes on earth. And I'm a man still because I have a history of being a man on earth, you see. I have a history, just like you, of being a child of the light who has taken on the identity of a man or woman on earth. And this is how I come to see that I am alive, you see. I am alive and I thrive 
when I accept that I have a tail to tail because the tail you'd have to tell is the one that you spell out when you say your name. You say, my name is so-and-so and I have a story to tell. And so I say, my name is Thomas and I have a story to tell. And Steph can say, she is Steph and she has a story to tell. And that is how we come to be the unique expressions of God energy because we each have a trail of energy that stretches out behind us and that's our history you see that's our history and that's how we come to be men and women on earth at the same time as we will never cease to be the children of the light we will always be the children of the light and we will always delight in the games we play. And the game we're playing, you see, is to be humanity. We are playing this game and we've been playing it for hundreds of thousands of years. And that is the way that we know that we belong with the earth because we have come to see that the earth is a trust that we hold between us. We all hold a trust on the earth between us. We all trust that what we see is a unique view of our own our own faith in being forever and ever children of the light who delight in the games they play. Let's not have so much hatred in the game of life because the game of life is the game that we play over and over and over again. And we're playing it now on Earth as members of the human race. So let us turn our faces to the sun and let us say, I am here today and I swear that I will be free of trust on pretending that I am just dust. I'm not dust. I'm not a little gust of wind, but I trust that my toes will touch the dust and that my face will turn into the breeze because these things are what make me human, you see. They're what make me human and I want to be human because it's probably the best game of all to smile at the ones you love and say hey I'm glad to be here with you today I'm glad to be here with you today so if more people can understand the truth there will be less despair on the earth and there will be more trust on sharing what we know with each other and not trying to build ourselves up by treating our brothers as if they were the problem for us. They're not the problem for us. The only problem for us is that we think that we must be high and mighty. We don't need to be high and mighty. We don't need to be better than anyone else. We don't need to 
win our right to heaven. You see, everyone goes to heaven. We just need to be more trusting on what we do and what we say that it is always got energy and play and we don't have to hate ourselves or anyone else no matter what we say or do because hate is always the dark hole into which you will fall when you cannot understand that love is all about being alive, you see. Being alive is being in love because love is the totality of reality. And if you are real, then that means you are in the trust on love energy. Thank you for listening to me and may we all work together to free the rusty wheel that has become so crusted over from the lack of trust on our mother, our beautiful mother, the earth, the planet of our birth where we shall once again sing and dance when we remember that we had the chance to work together to save humanity from the darkness of the shame and blame of those who played the game so they could get fame and fortune at the expense of their own future. Let us not throw away the future in order to feed the ego, for the ego is a voracious monster that will consume itself eventually, for it feeds upon itself. Because if you feed upon your future, you feed upon your own reality, and you will have nothing left but a black hole that will swallow you. So don't sell yourself short. Be free. Be love. And give love freely. And everything will be okay. Everything will be okay.